Oh, we were like, oh, it's Friday, Thank long goodness. week, but we're here and we have a lot of really good weather to look forward to, which <laughs> is so nice. The bearer of fantastic news. Love Not that. only will you have great weather for the outdoor plans, finally those who have been wearing already the fall colors, the boots, yeah, gotta get the into pumpkin it. spice latte, <laughs> you actually have an excuse now <laughs> as we get to the second half of the weekend and into early next week. I think even Monday, you're going to actually enjoy waking up nice and early and getting your day started. I'm going to show you why here in just a bit. I want to take it live outside. Our neighbor's down in Sarasota. What a beautiful end to the week. Temperatures, though, still on the warm side. 87 degrees, feeling more like the lower 90s. Yeah, we still have a little bit of that higher dew point, that humidity around, especially along the surface. It makes it feel muggy from time to time, but high up in the atmosphere, there is some dry air cutting in, and that entirely erased any rain chances out there for you today and even through tonight as well. A lot of mid to upper 80s. They will gradually, slowly but surely cool down. We'll even see some of those clouds start to break apart a bit, but it will be a beautiful evening. Sunset is at 701. Hey, if you can make it out to the beach, it's going to be a beautiful wrap up to the day. Now here is that very slow and gradual cool down. I think a lot of us will still stay in those mid 70s overnight through tomorrow morning, maybe even a little bit of muggy air around the region because tomorrow will be a little more humid. It's also going to be a warm one. We'll still see plenty of sunshine, but typically anytime we talk about a front, a lot of warmth and moisture pushes ahead of it. So that helps to bump up those uh, those temperatures. Very small chance to see any rain, though. I do think I'm going to keep it to about a 10% chance, and it would be late, late tomorrow night into the overnight hours if we do see any rain. And that's all going to be leading to a front that arrives and fully sweeps through by Sunday morning. That behind it not only will help to bring some cooler air, but man, oh man, some drier air, and that just makes our temperatures feel more comfortable, even when it is warm outside. Boaters heads up. We will see winds out of the northeast tomorrow, shifting out of the northwest in the afternoon, 5 to 10 knots, a light chop out on the bay. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, Saturday is the better boating day. Sunday, those winds do pick up behind that front, and I do think we're going to have choppy conditions out on the bay. So just a big heads up there. You're going to want to get out in the water Saturday versus Sunday. So let's talk about that front. Very clear on the radar, quiet conditions, plenty of sunshine tomorrow. The second half of the day, you'll start to notice some cloud cover build in. Then here we go. There is that front approaching the Bay Area pretty quickly as well. And you'll notice that wind really shifting out of the north, even picking up a little bit of speed in front of it. That small chance of rain overnight into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. We just dry up. A lot of that dry air just continues to filter in over and over throughout the day Sunday, keeping temperatures a little cooler. Man, oh man, especially in the morning hours. Sunday night through Monday morning will be some of the coolest temperatures we've seen in over 150 days here in the Bay Area. And we'll get to keep some of that dry air around at least in the middle of next week before rain chases increase towards the end of the week. Only about a 10% chance over the next couple of days, though. So we're really going to be enjoying quite a beautiful pattern over the next couple of days, even though for your weekend plans, that small chance of rain that won't slow you down whatsoever. Again, it would mainly be Saturday night, Sunday morning ahead of that front, but that cooler air is what we are waiting for, especially for it to finally feel. Yes, like we cannot wait for it to get Ooh. here. Looking forward to that.